Hello, Capricorn home dog. <laughs> All right, I have an air of seriousness. This is serious business this month, okay? Or uh, you may have been feeling this recently. I can't know I have. Anyway, uh, so this is your reading for the mon month of April, all right? But these readings are timeless. So, uh, you know, report back when needed or uh, suss out any other videos you, you know, feel the calling to, whatever. Just keep following how you feel, guys. I'm still on this tangent, mate. And, uh, you know, you guys should be too. But you really, like, in this, uh, I'm getting a real, like, sense of power, mate. I'm feeling power, okay, within. Um yes okay so you may be tapping into this energy you may be already in it i know i'm already in it okay so that's resonating for me all right uh sense of strength sense of power within all right we got this we got this and i must say too okay nothing nothing to me okay when i visualize stuff all right nothing to me is more powerful than capricorn women mate and like i, I know that I'm, oh, yeah, I'm a capricorn whatever bloody you know toot me own hole whatever but no every other capricorn woman i know all right they are so strong so powerful mate they're like um you can count on them you know what i mean but they're always going to be true to themselves and say it how it bloody is mate all right, that's the deal. All right, so if you don't want the freaking truth, mate, or, um, you know, whatever, if you don't want the blunt force there, mate, <laughs> serious, um, maybe don't uh, consult a Capricorn woman, okay? But obviously, um, they're there to help. They're there to support, okay? So that's the general vibe there that I'm picking up for you guys. Uh, with the, um, like, there may be Capricorn men watching this as well, okay? So this is about tapping into your inner strength, your inner power, um, you're planting your feet on the ground, mate, and steady, steady, going forward, steady, okay? Now, as I was preparing for this reading and it just happened then, all right, um, I was, you know, setting all this up or whatever, and I hit my elbow on this chest here, all right? So uh, I'm really feeling that you may feel like you might not have enough room to move, okay, in some area, some aspect of your life, okay, maybe irritating, maybe frustrating, maybe triggering things like anger, okay, because I don't, when I get, when I accidentally hit something or, you know, something you know, falls on my head, for example, I used to get really angry, okay, and I used to, you know, fly into a bit of rage, mate, but um, I've actually cleared that, you know, the wounding, the trauma and all that sort of stuff, and I don't normally get angry, you know, when I accidentally hurt myself anymore, it just doesn't exist, mate, but with this, okay, I hit my elbow and I got a bit angry, I'm like, mm, you know what I mean, now that's not normal for me, and I did connect to collective energy before, okay, um, like uh, before, and then that happened, and then so I'm guessing it's to do with you guys, all right? So just keep that in mind with the anger there. If things happen unexpectedly or by accident, all right, um, there's something there that you can heal, all right, that you can fix or um, look at differently, all right? So we'll get on into this, guys. Hope you guys been well. Okay, we have got somebody needs to drop something in the mind okay there's several messages here this is about dropping worries anxieties mental imprisonment all right well this is about not thinking things through okay possibly to do with a public setting a public space this can be anything from bloody facebook okay to a workplace to the local park down the road okay anything that's in the public setting this is public setting public setting i'm also picking up personal growth with this as well because of the greenery the garden okay um yes being led down the garden path as well okay that may play a role here in either way okay so being led down the garden path can go either way it's either you're being taken for a ride mate or you feel that way okay or we need to think about something a little bit more or it's actually quite a pleasant walk okay and um, you are being guided you are being led into better new growth new things happening all right so just keep that in mind Yeah, okay, so we've got conversations taking place, all right? If we put it with the uh, garden we're talking about, um, this is like messenger, mate. This is like talking on messenger, all right? Because it's like it's always like a public space or Facebook, okay? Uh, 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 communications, conversations, things like that. This could be um, directly involved with a, a prediction, something which was predicted, uh, intu intuition, intuitive uh, guidance as well. So stuff like this, mate, stuff like this. This 
This, okay, is what I'm doing right now, okay? Public space, conversations, intuition and predictions, all right? Okay, so that's what we're talking about. Um, so if, if you are actually struggling with these things, okay, think for yourself and think things through, all right? And, and never give your power away to readers, readings, predictions or anything like that, especially with the way the world's going at the moment, okay, with everything that's going on. Uh, okay, you're going to know what I'm talking about, okay? I don't have to go into detail, um, but we really need to think for ourselves, okay, and and not get carried away in the mind. I've oh, got to get some guidance and then we'll get another uh, message, all right? We've got to trust this process. We've got to develop self-trust, trust in the process, in the divine, divine timing. Come from the heart, guys. Come from the heart. Tap into the love. Um, uh, try not to live your life in fear, okay, with anything. Uh, you just, you know, get rid of it. Drop it, drop it, drop it out, drop it out. Shake that out of your head, mate. Shake it out of your head. <laughs> and come from a space of love and the heart okay if you haven't checked out my additional messages please check that out because this is um heavy 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 for everything that's going on in the world right now mate we need to tap into the heart and we need to you know the heart the heart love love come from a space of love okay we've got to observe okay so someone might not have the time it might be refusing to you know observe and think things through okay um otherwise this is talking about doing that and getting that job done and coming to a realization as well okay we've got opportunity beckons which is coming out of a dark night of the soul i feel coming out of the darkness okay so with this he's in a dark patch mate he's burdened okay he, he can't really see the opportunity around him but he knows there's something to find within a situation he knows that there's opportunity here whether it's for personal learning growing experiencing healing anything all right and the fact that it came out reverse i'm really feeling here that we're coming out of a dark night of the soul mate so if you've been in a dark patch regarding anything in your life this is really quite good we've got love of bounds okay and it's in the reverse okay so we've got this happening it's all happening mate it's all happening but this is about your own tapping into this energy of your own self love and where it is you're personally coming from all right so this is about uh definitely tapping tapping into your own heart space okay what is it inside of you is there anything else that can be healed Okay, you may need to take the time out for meditation as well, drop into the heart space, all right, and uh, get some answers from, from there. But generally, we need to start operating from love and trust, trust ourselves, trust divine process, okay, and what, what is actually occurring, all right. Okay, we're going to get another message. Using spellcasters. This is interesting, guys. Okay. Okay. And that one. I'm just going to pick that one because it was sticking out. But we'll leave it there and we'll, we'll use it if we need. All right. Okay. Okay. We have got the Four of Pentacles here. Okay. This talks about, about financial stability. Okay. This talks about holding on tightly to something or too tightly to something. This also talks about foundations and things of that nature. All right. We've got the Queen of Swords here, which is a, uh, a feminine energy. We're talking about uh, a Aries, oh, Aries. It could be an Aries, mate. <laughs> but we're talking about a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. It seems to be in their power. If we're not talking about a feminine uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we're talking about a professional person here. Okay. Someone in any profession, prof professional role, mate. Like if we're talking about financial financial stability, all oh, my words are just going all funny. You might be having trouble to communicate. All right. Right now. Um, if we're talking about financial stability, okay, and if this was to represent a prof professional person, this could be your mortgage broker. Okay, this could be your bank teller. Okay, it's someone in a professional position that deals with communication on the daily. All right. Okay, so directly to that, we've got the Page of Wands. All right. So the Page of Wands represents a um a, a small moving forward, or it's a, it's a very, it's a very new moving forward, perhaps a, a slow and steady moving forward. Okay, but this is about act like action. Okay, taking action, and for some reason here it is delayed. Okay, or it's not happening, or um there's there's some sort of challenge involved here. Okay, he does have his hand up 
like this okay so this every time this card falls out I'm getting listening to the call listening to the call okay uh, or listening to oneself as well but for some reason uh, this isn't happening or there's a delay or there's a challenge all right we've got the hanged man here all right next to this little passionate moving forward or taking action all right um, and the hangman is the card of Pisces, okay, so intuition could be involved with this. Uh, when the hangman is in reverse, we're talking about someone having a bloody epiphany, mate. So this is an epiphany. This is taking the time out for enlightenment, okay, upright, taking the time out for, for, for enlightenment. And we've got somebody coming out of that period of um, taking the time out and having the epiphany or gaining the understanding or gaining the knowledge within this situation, okay, regarding this movement forward. Um, this could be a separate message or a carry-on, all right? We've got the Seven of Swords, which is in reverse. Seven of Swords um, talks about, um, or in this case, because it's reverse, it's talking about hidden information or, or information which was kept from you or information you need to know that's now coming to light, okay? So whatever was hidden on you from an um, information perspective, okay, or a communication even, uh, perspective is things are coming to light now things are coming out like not coming out but coming to you okay so this might help with the epiphany as well all right we've got the four of cups in reverse so four of cups upright talks about emotional dissatisfaction um, dis uh, emotional dissatisfaction i was gonna say all right <laughs> Oh, Lord, it's like two words in one. All right, so this is talking about not being satisfied on an emotional level, not being able to see what's around you and taking that time out, possibly meditation, things like that. Okay, the fact that it's reversed, okay, it's it seems to insinuate, okay, that we're moving past that emotional dissatisfaction, all right, um, and we're coming out of this. So if you've been feeling emotionally unsatisfied lately and not being able to see the good around you or what's going on around you or opportunities around you, okay, information's coming in, information will be revealed and it will help move you forward. Okay, we're going to get some angel cards for this, all right. Oh, my goodness, guys, you're going to have to put up with me. This is like the worst video I've done today. Um, all right, we've got to be, oh, we've got to be brave, mate. No, I just freaked out. <laughs> I just feel freaked out. Okay, so when this card falls out for me, okay, it takes a lot for me to suck up the bloody guts, mate, to do something, to say something, to whatever. Okay, so there's this element of having to be brave within a situation, all right? <laughs> we've got marriage. Okay, we've got marriage. So this could be regarding a relationship, an agreement, a contract, a union between two, whatever the hell that is. It can mean people. It can mean literally agreements, work contracts, things like that. Something may need to be said. Okay, um, we're looking at things like that. I feel that someone has slept on it. All right, someone has slept on this and uh, they've gained the epiphany. They've gained the realisation, the uh, information which has been hidden from you or the, you know, new information which has come in, all right, has, has come in. And I really feel that we're taking steps forward now in whatever way that is. There's still that element of being brave, okay, so you may need to be brave in this situation, right? But I tell you what, okay, when this card comes out, for me, okay, normally within a day, it could be even a, even the hour, within the hour, okay, all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to have to do something, right, or whatever, I have to actually be brave, but every single time, I have sucked up the guts and just bloody done it, mate, just get it done, just say it, just say it how it is, or whatever, okay, um, it's actually paid off. Okay, so it's paid off in actually quite a good way, all right? So confronting these fears is a good thing. We've got to start thinking, what's the worst that can happen, all right? What's the worst that can happen? You may, you may feel like an idiot, all right? But who cares? Shake it off, you know? Um, what's that song? Shake it off, shake it off, ooh, 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 right? Okay, this is what we're talking about. If you need to pump that shit, Check it out on YouTube and crank it, right? So just shake it off, all right? If you feel like an idiot, it's okay. But seriously, what's the worst that can happen, all right? Just suck it up. Do it, mate. You'll be right. Um, it feels like, you know, you've had a lot of time out regarding this, all right? You may have slept on it. If you haven't slept on it, sleep on it, all right? Um, and this could be keeping you up at night too, all right? So be brave. Be brave, okay? What's the worst that can happen, mate? 
what's the worst? If we're not hurting people directly, there is nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that. Just follow how you feel, guys, and be in, in charge of your own life. And uh, anything, you know, if you decide to do something and, you know, you feel a certain way or whatever, just remember that um, it's up to you and your responsibility to how you uh, take these things, okay, and what you do with that as well. Like, for example, if you feel like an idiot, that's okay, mate. That's only because of, you know, past trauma or past hurts. That's an opportunity there for you to clear and heal, okay? There is like, there's, and I feel the need to say that there is nothing wrong with you. Like there is, I'm talking to someone here and I need to tell you that there is nothing wrong with you. Like you, you are perfect. You are perfection. Okay. And that goes for life too. Everything is perfect. All right. Um, and this is about building trust. This is about building faith. I'm actually going to do a whispers of love. I just got the call. All right. Now I haven't been doing this for other people's readings. All right. But um, I'm actually going to pick that one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I haven't been doing this for other readings, okay? I was actually going to save these for collective messages or whenever I feel, okay? And I'm feeling it with you guys. Miracles and blessings, mate, okay? And uh, the last time I used this deck, all right, when we first, you know, consecrated and used this deck on the other video, all right, uh, this you know, this was scary, okay, this chick scared the absolute hell out of me, okay, so we are battling with fears, we do need to be brave, but I'm just telling you, miracles and blessings, mate, no matter what you decide to do, but if you can suck it up and be brave, I can guarantee you on some level, in some way, it's going to pay off, whether it's for you personally, or whether it's just facing your fears, mate, and realizing that you, there was nothing to fear, Okay, we've got miracles and blessings. This is a base card. We've got a base card here. This is about letting go what no longer serves us, okay? Suck it up, princess. Suck it up, all right? <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Just suck it up and do it. Just do it, mate. Uh, you've got nothing to lose. This is shedding the old, all right? Shedding the old. This is about fertilizing and growing and nurturing uh, what it is that you want for yourself in your life, okay? We're coming out of a, a winter period here, right? You may have felt like you're in the winter, you're in the dark, things were cold and lonely, or um, you may have felt a sense of uh, isolation or uh, lack of growth or something like that, but things are changing, mate. The wind's picking up here. The wind is picking up. Also going with the flow is very important, okay? Um, you might end up somewhere where you never thought you'd be. This might be involving this, okay? You might be wondering what the hell is going on here. But for some reason, you've been like swept up like a leaf in the breeze and here you are, mate. You're at this point, okay? So what are you going to do, mate? What are you going to do? I, I feel that this is very much um, about... Uh, being able to see clearly within a situation. You may not have been able to see clear, clearly. There could have been a fog or a fogginess, not, not being able to get your vision right, okay? But I'm really feeling that with the air, it's like blowing, it's pushing the fog out of your vision, okay? It's just the, the day is becoming clearer. Things are becoming clearer now, guys. What's that? Oh, my goodness, okay? On the leaf here, I just saw this on the leaf, on the actual leaf, there is a picture of a tropical beach with um, a sun on it. Oasis. Oasis. Okay, this could be your oasis is coming, mate. Your oasis is coming. Good times. Good times. Smooth sailing. Yeah, this is nice, guys. I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling this. Listen to yourself. All right, listen to yourself. What's the worst that can happen? All right, listen, just listen. I'm just getting to listen, listen, listen to yourself. But definitely take the time out that you need if you need to make a decision or make a choice or suck up the guts, mate. All right, just do that. We've also got the number 13, okay, which is lucky for some. <laughs> number 13, lucky for some. All right, so this could be involving luck, bad luck, um, but this is... I'm feeling it's lucky, mate. However the outcome is, however this lands mate i'm feeling that there's a sense of luck or there's an undertone of luck with this miracles and blessings mate all right you got this this is like whether you can see it or not whether you're stuck in the fog or not mate miracles and blessings all right that's really nice very powerful stuff really powerful mate. i'm really feeling that within like here okay i'm really feeling that strength that power all right 
Okay, we're up to 19 minutes. We're just going to do some quick animals. We've got emotions involved. Okay, this could be a separate message. This could be an emotional outburst, an emotional release. You may need to release something, okay? This may be a sense of relief, all right? When you're like, oh my God, everything turned out okay. All right, we're talking about that. But we'll get some more information. We'll see where this message is heading, all right? An emotional tapping is what I'm getting to, tapping into the emotions. We have got black egg here, which is the truth. This is the raw truth. This is how it is. This is your truth. It's coming through as your truth. This is your truth. This is your truth. Okay. All right. And uh, the emotions could be involved. All right. And I'm also feeling here that someone's trying to nurture truth as well. Okay. So this is an egg, mate. This is only the beginning, mate. It hasn't even hatched open yet. Okay, so this is what we're growing. This is what's being nurtured now. This is going to crack open for you, mate. The truth is going to be there. The truth is going to be revealed, mate. It's just a matter of time. This is also talking about intuition, mate. Intuition, your own personal intuition on this, all right? We're talking about feeling things out, using our head, using our heart, being all over things, all right? But this is the most intuitive card in the deck directly related to your personal intuition and your tr your truth, okay, within this. Okay, this could be a separate message. We've got bees here, all right, so B, we need to look at all angles, all facets. This is like multi-people, multi-faceted, okay, um, bringing all the bits of information back to achieve the liquid gold, okay, to achieve the gold. Who would have thought something would have turned into something like this, all right? Those, um, this came up for... I think it was Libra. I don't know. It came up for someone else as well. But it's like, who would have thought that collecting all these pollens and putting it all together and processing it, right, would turn into something so freaking sweet, mate? So sweet. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Well, also, too, we've got uh, someone coming out of a um, period of emotional depletion here, okay, when things are going to get better. This has been a long time coming. We've got Nightingale here. So someone might be uh, having trouble speaking up, speaking out. This can talk about public speak speaking and stuff like that. And this is anything from, like, um, it could be Facebook even. Uh, Facebook, uh, it could be YouTube, it could be a simple conversation on the phone, um, uh, having having self-expression. It's about self-expression, all right, and singing your own song. Singing your own song. You may have trouble singing your own song right now, all right? And this could be because of lack of support within a situation, all right? You may feel unsupported, lack of support, all right? Could be surrounding this energy, could be surrounding this situation, all right? But just know that the support is there for you. And it's all about who you talk to, okay? And who you're involving yourself in, all right? You need to find um, the appropriate course of action, all right? If someone's not there for you to support you or you can't seem to find the support, find the bloody support, mate. Um, so we'll get some guidance on this and we're going to have to call it a day. We've got crown chakra. All right. So this is talking about divine guidance, guys. This is about, um, you know, information coming through from the beyond, from a higher source, mate, um, from a higher, higher being, a higher guidance. All right. This could be directly involved, um, within this. This may help uh, steer you on your journey. All right. Um, this might be the reason why you're at this point now. Okay. I know with me it is. All right. Um, we've got challenging times. Okay. So this has been a difficult patch for you. All right. This could have been quite emotional for you, especially if we're seeing the truth all right within a situation um or the truth coming in all right um challenging times okay we may be feeling defensive there may be someone around us that's feeling defensive all right on guard on on attack mate like defense all right defense defense uh, maybe you can't get through to someone as well if you're trying to talk to someone all right and tell them how it is or whatever they may be like no 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 not having a bar of it all right um challenging times are indicated okay now i feel that you're already going through this all right this is not something that's just going to like be sprung on you all right so if if this is not talking to you don't assume that this is going to happen this month okay because i'm really not feeling that you're going to know if this is you all right but the thing is, is that the guidance is here the epiphany is here mate you may have to drop something all right that's what i'm feeling um we're going to get another angel card on this all right you really might have to drop something. This could be you, and this could actually be dropping support within a situation because it's like there's nothing that I can do, all right? The communication just isn't getting through, like, to this person, all right? Um, so don't take it personally. Everyone's on their own journey, mate. Um, if you need to remove yourself from a situation, bloody do that. 
You've got optimism here, all right? Optimism, all right? So if you're not feeling optimistic, mate, it's going to come in for you, all right? This sense of optimism is coming through. It's filtering down, filtering through right bloody now, mate. It's starting now, all right? And you might already feel it. I've felt it today with getting these videos done, all right? It's here. The energy is here. It's just a matter of time, mate, all right? So focus on this. Refocus on the shit that makes you happy, all right? We've got you're a leader. All right, so this is about you taking the lead, getting stuff done and making things happen for yourself, okay? You might be a natural leader, okay, to be able to fix things, to be able to sort things out, even if it's about yourself. This is about taking the lead in some way, all right, and having that sense of optimism to get, get stuff done, achieve goals, and uh, make, oh, I just got making your dreams come true, all right? Making your dreams come true. Make your dreams come true. <laughs> You will anyway, mate. I'm really feeling it because that you're a leader. That's powerful stuff, mate. Uh, it really is. That's just like general life, whether it's talking about workplace or not. That's just you, like being a leader. And it's, it's very Capricorn energy as well. Okay, we've got emotions as well. So we really need to look at emotional healing, okay, as well. Um, but I'm almost feeling like you're going to be really feeling this, mate, like on an emotional level, positively, positively, emotional level. We've got this. We're going to be feeling it in a new sense of strength, stepping forward, stepping out, and regaining this inner power, okay, inner power, We've got these guys, good old cappies in your little hot trotters, mate. You climb that mountain, right? Scale those freaking rocks, man. There's nothing that you <laughs> can stop us. There is nothing that can stand in our way, mate. Um, so you bloody get on top of that mountain. You're gonna, you're gonna achieve it. You're gonna achieve. Uh, just keep going, keep going. Uh, anything that comes your way, you know, clop, 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 clop with your little hoofies, mate. Up the freaking mountain. Let's go for it. Bluetooth high five. Let's go. All right. We got this, guys. You have a great month. Take it easy. And um, I'll see you guys soon. All right. And uh, kick butt. I am like so like, yes, 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 yes. So please take that energy. If you're not feeling it right now, you will be soon. All right. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Um, have a good one. All right. I'll see you later. See you.